I know you probably just want to start playing with jQuery UI, and I completely understand you. Well, it won't take us too long, but we have to take a step back. Before we talk about the jQuery UI, I wanted to talk about jQuery, which is that core library of that jQuery UI is dependent on. We're going to talk more about that in the next video, but let's first understand what jQuery is. So I'm just going to flip onto the jQuery website. All right, so the current build of jQuery as we're making this video is 1.91. Um, the versions are updated all the time. What is jQuery? So before we uh, uh, understand it, really, we, we have to ask ourselves, well, why are there so many different libraries out there to try to help us, the, jo the HTML JavaScript developers? One of the biggest issues with HTML is that it's a hard language. Not only that it's a hard language, it's, it's built on in a structure that's very unfamiliar to people that program in general. And it's a really complicated language to understand, mainly not the syntax of the language, but mainly understanding the structure of the DOM. We're not going to get into that at all. jQuery, uh, in many ways, is here to solve that problem, simplifying the way that we interact with, with the browser to get our information. But more than that, it turns into a facilitator, making sure that when we're asking something from a browser, we'll get the same thing throughout the different browsers, which is a very important thing. As you probably know, and if you don't, every single browser has their own little mistakes. Every browser has their own issues. Although browsers and browser manufacturers are getting better and better, they also don't have the same features or the same level of support. And many times, some are, are, are lagging, some are followers, some are leading, some lead in some things, and some follow in others. So it's really important for us to have some sort of layer of defense that we could work with and know that whenever we're working with that library, we know that it's safe, and we know that whatever we're doing it, we will get whatever we need. So developing in, multi, developing in multiple browsers on your own without a, without a library, well, there's no better way of saying it than it's just a big pain, and it's quite complicated. And that's why a lot of people find struggle, struggle along building in HTML, not because it's a hard language, but mainly because there's too many things you have to worry about, too many browsers you have to worry about it. One of the beauties of jQuery is that jQuery is there to simplify your work, and at the same time, its main goal is to make sure that you don't have to worry about cross-browser um, cross browser issues because it supports all the modern browsers. Um, actually, it supports all the current versions minus one version. So, for example, if you're working on Opera, then it will support the current version of Opera and the version before it. Safari, same ways. Firefox, same. Chrome, the same. But with jQuery, it will support only for one dot, doesn't matter what, it will support Internet Explorer 6 and up. For jQuery 2, it will support 9 and up, but we're going to be working with J jQuery 1 underneath the hood, so we don't have to worry about jQuery 2, because we do want to st still make sure that we support Internet Explorer 6, because it's still a very popular browser. And if at all it costs from us is to work with jQuery 1 instead of 2, then, well, it's a price worth paying. So we know that jQuery is, um, well... It's lightweight, it's cross-browser compliant, which makes our lives way easier. So now we have a library that makes sure that we don't have to interact directly with the core features of the JavaScript library, and instead of that, we could interact with it through a mediator, and that mediator is the jQuery library, making sure that it catches all these different bugs in the process that some of the browsers have. With that said, let's a little bit of uh, background about jQuery, and why would you want to use jQuery over other libraries? Well, jQuery is the most popular and the most visited. So in just a, a little bit of numbers, 55% of the top 10,000 most visited websites on the web use jQuery. So 55% of the biggest websites in the world use jQuery. So it's the most popular library in use today. jQuery is free. It's open source. Um, it's with the MIT license. Dig deeper into it if you need to understand the, the legal ramifications of it. Um, and, and as we said, jQuery is designed to simplify the way you approach and navigate uh, the document, how do you select elements, um, how to create symbol and more advanced animations, how you handle uh, events, and even deeper stuff such as Ajax applications. So with that, with that said, that's all we have to really know about jQuery. Now, why did we do all this intro about jQuery? Because we need now to say that jQuery itself runs behind the hood with the jQuery UI. And actually, for the jQuery UI to work, you have to first embed Oto with jQuery itself. So now that we know that jQuery is the foundation behind jQuery UI, the next question that you'll probably ask yourself is, what is jQuery UI and what makes it stand out versus jQuery, or what does it add?